We got Crawford here, who's a, a speed rusher. I suppose could have used him as well. Who knows? Some uh, really good players. I think they chose the Wong guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was there. What is going on, guys? We're back with another video. We are doing another 10-year sim, and I didn't know what team to do, so I just chose the other team for uh, the uh, Thursday night game. And I say other team because tomorrow you will see a Dolphins rebuild. It's a little bit of a special one. I might even use that premiere feature, uh, which I don't know if you guys knew about or not, but it allows you to uh, kind of like pre-queue it up. And, if, you know, if you obviously it's for someone with big, 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 big following, but it still could be kind of fun. You can watch video together, basically. So it's basically like, I don't know, like a TV show. If you're, wa you're waiting for The Walking Dead or something, you know, you basically just wait. And then once it comes out, you know it's going to come out at the same time every week. So that's basically what that is like. I might do that. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. Um, and then I could chat with you guys while it's on. I don't know. Whatever. You know, whatever. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't. Uh, but this is the team for the Texans. Of course, if you've watched the 10-year sim, we basically let the AI do what the AI does, except for Season 9, where we give one crack at it and usually turn the team around pretty quickly. Sometimes it doesn't go exactly as planned, but let's get on with it. I think the big key factor for having a good 10-year sim is a good base offensive line. And as you can see, the Texans... They've got about as great as an offense line that anyone could ever want. I mean, Fulton is the worst player on this line. He's he's terrible. They really should replace him. Um, I maybe put uh, David Sharp in there. You can see Sharp. He's young. You know, he's young. Got a little bit of strength, talent. I mean, look at the speed, good agility. Uh, so Deontay Foreman, uh, Lamar Miller. He won't last very long. They'll have to replace him very soon. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins isn't going to last very long either. Fuller could be, I mean, not maybe on this team, but he'll probably be here by the time this ends. I would say DeAndre is very close to retiring at that point, but I don't know, 36 years old, it could happen. Let's see what this team wants to do. So first season, 8-7-1. Apparently in the AFC is enough to get a playoff spot. What in the hell? They literally had to be the sixth seed, right? Oh, they, the AFC was just really bad. The Browns were worse than us somehow. I wonder if we tied... That would be insane if we were the ones that tied with the Browns. Like, what are the chances of that? Eagles, we tied with the Eagles. Right, that's not a bad team to tie with. So, take a look at the stats, see what uh, Deshaun was about. It was about, about an average player is what he was about. Offense really didn't score that many touchdowns. Lamar, probably going to drop from quick dev. Didn't get double-digit tight. I keep saying tight ends. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. Uh, double-digit touchdowns or 1,000 yards. DeAndre, not very great either, but he did have a thousand yards, so it's I mean it's better than nothing. Cooties. Got cooties. Got a, a decent season, number three. Sack totals. I mean, that's not bad for Matt and Sim. Zach Cunningham, that was a nice season. Don't care about kicking. Who cares? You know? I don't know why I even care about this stuff. You know we're not gonna win any awards. What could we have won possibly? Like nothing? Because you're right. That's what we did win. Unless who cares about kicking? Oh, I was about to say, who cares about kicking? Maybe we do because it's our only award. I don't know if they would show the XP, but here's the team. A couple upgrades here, and there's Deshaun Down. Stays dev, all right? That's all you aim for in life. All right, let's sim. I mean, let's let's be honest. You know, then there it is, 41 to 10 to the Broncos. Let's be honest. Broncos defense must be really sick because they always, well, not always, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm being a little wild again, but they do pretty well in sim here and there, and they probably shouldn't, especially early on. See who wins the Super Bowl year one. Let's not see who wins the Super Bowl year one, because I forgot. Why does it always do that? Like, I have to go to the news, because I forgot. Ah, oh, that's not even the news. And then I had to see Adam Gase, who usually undresses me with his eyes, and I don't like it. The Steelers and Falcons. What well, says the Falcons are most valuable? Yeah, I was about to say, if the Falcons are most valuable and they were in the Super Bowl, let's, uh, you know, put things together and figure out that they probably won, which was true. So, the conclusion of Season 1 leaves us with probably pick number... How many teams are in the playoffs? A 12, so... Probably 21, 22? 21. They grabbed a cornerback. That's not a bad pick, depending on how good he is. Quick death, 21 years old. Not a bad pick. Year 1. I like it. 
I like it a lot. And then they grabbed a tight end. Not sure that's really a need, but it's not a bad player. I've seen a lot worse in the second round from uh, these teams. Obviously, you know, one of these guys could be a little sneaky steal, and you just, you never know. Like this guy, I mean, Gordon Olsen, he's okay. Completely useless for this team. He's going to be in free agency in like three years, but it's something. It's something. Oh, here, like, here we go. A little sneaky player. 72 overall star. Very terrible, but, I mean, he's a good dev. Oh, that was a second round pick. That That's a bad pick, actually. He's a good dev, though. It's better than nothing. Uh, ooh, a little fat. This guy's nice. Ah, he's 5'10", but still. 94 speed, basically, across the board. That's nice. So we had the 21st pick. Corner was a big need. I can't really fault him for choosing that. Um, it's pr pretty much the biggest need other than O-line. So if either there wasn't any O-line here, I think uh, I think for the first time in a while, the AI got it right. Colvin, so I want um, Todd in at number two. I wish he was scheme fit, but it is what it is. Michael Pierce joins the team. That's I don't think they had him before. As he's a Raven, isn't he? How the hell did they get him? I actually have no idea how they got him. They don't have Michael Pierce in real life. I would know this if they did. So year two, missed the playoffs. Kind of like we expected year one. Uh, pretty similar. Once again, can't have a season without a tie. I don't care about that. We'll look at the stats. Drew Brees wins the MVP. Brady won it last year. Of course, he's not around anymore to win it. So there's that. Deshaun touchdowns, I don't even know if they're down, but his yards are up. Lamar is basically like a retirement home at this point. Uh, Kiki looking good. Uh, 947. So that, I mean, that's not bad numbers at all. Defensively, sack totals. Wow, that's horrendous. Are they serious? Clowney and Watt combined for seven and a half. Why? Why, EA? Why? Look at the bottom of the screen right now. Are they serious? The safest pick in the seventh round. If there was a safe pick in the seventh round, he wouldn't be in the seventh round. Eagles win a Super Bowl apparently over the Patriots. It'd be kind of devastating for the Patriots. Oh no, the Patriots. They're devastated. So back to back cornerback picks and at fifteen, it looks like another amazing pick. It's a short guy again, but it is. I don't know how the Texans are so good at getting corners. So of course they still have Colbin. However, they do not have um, Jonathan Joseph, so a very good decision by the, the Texans. I mean, at the end of the day, they found an amazing player. He's an 82 overall out the gate, and he's a scheme fit. That could be a 90 overall by the end of the season. Oh, speaking of 90 overalls, Justin Reed, 23 years old, looking strong. Uh, middle of the linebackers in general, other than Clowney, looking kind of rough. Covington uh, kind of coming into his own a little bit. Uh, the, the defense looks pretty solid. You can see why, too. It's a 93 overall. Offense, however, they don't even have Deshaun uh, Watson as a scheme fit. I'm going to fix that just real quick. I mean, look at that. 9-7. and seven. Apparently, the percentage didn't matter. Lamar jumped up four overalls as well. Still star dev, but he's definitely one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Actually, he could be a top five right now. He's number five exactly. Uh, the receivers didn't really develop too much. Offensive line is looking really rough. Defense, however, 95 overall. You can see Anabon went up six. Did his dev go up? It did not, but it's all right. Uh, linebacker's not looking super great, in all fairness. Corner's looking set, though. I mean, those are some pretty young corners. Might last a long time. 14-2, and two, though, from the, the Jags. That's, that's a little crazy. Deshaun's touchdown's down even more, man. It makes no sense, because we're a spread offense now, so... I don't know. Hopkins went well. Cootie went a little worse. Will Fuller, I mean, he's getting the catches, but he's not getting the, uh, the yardage. Offensive line, actually not bad considering. I get worse than that in almost every league I have. Uh, J.J. Watt and Clowney, finally. Same with Whitney. Finally. You guys, a <laughs> pick for Watt. You guys do realize that's your job, right? To get to the pod, to the quarterback? You, you, you do know that, right? The AFC, did we get defensive player or rookie of the year? Number two, the difference. Look at Ben Bryan. This is the guy we we're looking at, I'm pretty sure. The difference... Would have been like another three overalls, probably. That's wild. It is what it is, though. Because, I mean, honestly, he probably didn't deserve it. You look at those stats, which we didn't even see because he wasn't one of the best players on the team. Probably didn't deserve it. Let's uh, let's go week by week until we lose, which will be first week, probably. Yep. By six to the Tom brady list Patriots for two years. Still making the playoffs, making the Super Bowl. <gasps> this is a quarterback. Draft recap, so with the playoffs in mind, not a good pick probably. Uh, DeMar, Lamard, Phillips, normal dad, that is 
Not great. Good strength, though, and good power. I mean, he's not a bad player. He just has normal dev. Uh, Darius Lewis, another good corner. Don't know where you guys are pulling him from. Demarcus Holmes, quick dev. He's an edge rusher, so he probably starts at right end. This is not a bad pick. A little slow, but he's got good excel. Um, honestly, for pick 22, that's another good, another good draft. I like it. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Texans in the draft. Number two, uh, 22, so... Tight end could be a good thought, but, I mean, at the end of the day, look how slow this guy is. Don't blame him for missing that guy. Honestly, I never really thought about it, but I know he's a little heavy, but do you think maybe because there's no fullbacks that EA actually just throws all these blocking tight ends in so you can get fullbacks? I mean, that sounds like what the case is, right? Harvey Raji. Uh, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. I hate BJ Raji, man. Just quit on us. Then again, if we didn't, if he didn't quit on us, I don't think we would have drafted Kenny Clark. So, thanks, Raji. <laughs> thanks, buddy. So I'm hoping we're starting that youngster because I think uh, with quick dev, decent stats. Damn it, they got. God damn it. I mean, I like a Hayward here, but Holmes is the guy, right? Like clearly. Oh, this is a three-four. Yeah, I didn't really think about that, did I? So why the hell did they go with Holmes? I got oh we'll put Holmes at left out then. Holmes is a 71 overall left outside linebacker. What the hell did they draft him for then? Do they think he's just gonna gain 50 pounds in the offseason? Calling up the Green Bay Packers. All right, all right. Eddie Lacy, what'd you guys do? <laughs> what was it? Philip Lindsay is our starting. Uh, I almost said kicker, which is not true. And quarterback is not the answer either. Our starting running back. The drafts have been decent. I just need to see some free agents. I mean, we got Cameron Hayward, but that's really not a guy we needed. 12-4, and four, really? Nah, now nah, I'm going to have to show you guys who didn't cheat because, honestly, that one's a shocker. I don't know where we're pulling these wins from. Maybe it's just the division. But I don't understand how the... Where did the Jags go from 14-2 and two to that? Look at Deshaun. Almost an MVP, unless he was. 4,000 yards, 40 touchdowns, 7 picks. Phillip Lindsay. Maybe it's because our running back situation is kind of rough. Maybe they're like, ah, well, let's just stop running the ball, and that's the good decision. DeAndre over 1,000, but not double-digit touchdowns, which probably drops him in dev. Let's take a look. Star dev. I mean, you would think he would start with superstar, so I'd say that probably was a drop. Uh, Clowney with 15 sacks. All right. Clowney and Watt with 15. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I don't even know how Lamar got in. <laughs> Eight and a half, all right. Uh, our left outside linebacker had nothing. That's unfortunate. Picks. Anaman with six. That's huge. He's a small fella, but he should. Can we get some kickers that are shooting more than 66% of pure heroin into their body? Because I'm fiending. What? Sean Watson with the best player of the year award. Uh, no rookie awards. Best QB somehow isn't to Sean. Oh, damn. Look at Baker with 98 overall. That's interesting. Any other awards? Anabon, of course, 92 overall. Let's take a look at what it is. First, we have a bye week, which is wild. I can't believe that's even a thing. Like I said, this is probably our most successful one so far, which is insane to say. But like I said, keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, offensive line, I need to see someone. Especially with a bad pick coming up. Holmes went up a bit. Start down. I mean, I don't know how. He went up a speed as well. Things are happening. Right? Phillips probably went up a... I don't know how devs work. It's got to be something to do with, like, personal goals or something, right? I don't know how Anubin's only star still. No zone coverage. I'm going to need to see you guys start developing his zone. Todd's a 90 overall. He's only 23. I mean, these things are these things. I love how we have two corners that are complete, utter opposites of each other. I don't know how that works, but it does. An insane defense. Uh, really good, actually. Uh, let's see the sim. We win one, finally. Can you beat Baker? Do it for me. They win to the Super Bowl. It's very rare we win this or win. We can even get to the Super Bowl. So I think anytime we get a Super Bowl, ooh, down five overalls, we're going to watch it. We're going to watch it like it's a normal rebuild. It might extend the videos a little bit, but that's all right. We won't look at the stats unless it's a crazy game. We won't look at the stats. I don't want you guys sitting here 44 hours for a 10-year sim. Unless you guys love sitting here for 40 or 4 hours, let me know. I mean, looking at it on paper, we are definitely the worst of the two. 
which means you're going to win a Super Bowl based on EA Sim. Hell yeah. I love it. So it's Sim Fast, three points down the gate, or out the gate. Start of the second quarter. This is a pretty nice drive. I see seven. I do see seven. Nice. They see three up by seven. I mean, there's a shot. There's a shot. Oh, you really need a score before half there. Either way, up by seven. Offense has got, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. So having a punt, that's three points. Oh, turnover. I don't know what it was, but that whatever the defense just did might have won them the Super Bowl. Defense is – wow, what a kick, by the way. Offense got out, but what a damn kick. And to the 20, I mean, that's a lot of yards, but you need to pin them. And there's a huge 650-yarder to Marquez. Marquise Goodwin, which is insane. Huge plays down the field. I mean, this should come out to points and better than points. Seven. I think this is our second ever 10-year Sim Super Bowl. I love it. That's insane. I think the Rams were the first, and then the Texans out of nowhere here. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? I mean, 85 overall, 86 overall. Once again, proving Sim is completely broken. I love it, though. I mean, it helped us today. Sorry, Texans fans, but I'm skipping it. Once again, at the stat. Okay, I do have to look at Deshaun. That's pretty insane. There's that. So, finished game. I think that was year four, maybe. Super Bowl win, 32nd pick. The Texans seem to do better with their bad picks than they do their good. So let's see what we can do. Damn, that's crazy. Potential dynasty? Simulate the draft. We also have a lot of XP to use for our coach, which is nice. Draft recap. Honestly, I think offensive line, right? They went with a left end again, and he was terrible. I know you didn't have a good pick, but what are you doing? A fullback in the third round. He's got to start out, in all fairness. I mean, he's a fullback you'll probably have forever, but that seems a little wild. Please tell me there wasn't a decent lineman number 32 or something, or 31 anyways. So 31, they went wide receiver. Really not a whole lot to draft here. Maybe Burgess. Yeah, the end of the draft is not super great for picks. So the team's kind of intact uh, for the next season. No Fulton, so offensive line is even worse now. Uh, Switzer's on the team. Cootie is gone. I don't know who Scott is. Jaleel. Jaleel Scott. Trey Burton is the tight end. Who is this? Gutierrez. Uh, 26 years old. He's okay, but he's not worth it. So Holmes is apparently starting over Treo. I don't know who the hell Treo is. I mean, he seems better, but doesn't have that developmental ability. And Watt is gone. That kind of sucks. At least they got Phillips to kind of take his spot. Uh, Trey, uh, Tyron Matthew looking kind of rough. I would probably trade uh, Tyron and definitely maybe get some sort of pass rusher. Or at least interior rusher. From the Super Bowl champions to not even making the playoffs. What a disappointment. It was still, to be fair, it was 9-7. and seven, So, I mean, it's not like it was a bad season. Luckily, I thought it was going to be a bad season. But any season without the playoffs is a bad season. So, there's that. Well, uh, Hopkins gets his first non-1,000-yard season. Maybe since entering the league. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if that's actually true. But I'd say that's probably true. No Watt, no playoffs. Big surprise there. And again, in real life, Watt means no playoffs anyways. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't care about MVP or anything like that because we missed. We didn't make the playoffs, so there's no point. If you didn't make the playoffs, even if you won an award, who cares? You know, I don't care. So the Chiefs win over the Cowboys for the Super Bowl, apparently. I'm assuming the number on that side means the number, you know. No, 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 I don't want to... Uh... So give the draft recap. Number 19 leads to another cornerback. Quick dev Du Bois. Uh, left guard. Hey, a guard for once. Normal dev Todd Proctor. All right. Hayer, right tackle. Another bad pick. I mean, they're striking the right positions, but they're missing badly on actual talent. So number 19 was a corner. Right behind them was a guard that was really solid. 
That's a little unfortunate. We got Crawford here, who's a, a speed rusher. I suppose could have used him as well. Who knows? Some uh, really good players. I think they chose the Wong guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was there. So it's a, okay. Oh, all right. Let's not be, you know, we're not being racist. But all right, here we go. So last name is Wong. The pitcher is a black guy. And his character is Spanish. That's all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> EA is just, I mean, they don't even care at this point. Like, they're just, they're the guy that plays Sims just to make, like, the ugliest player in the world, you know? They're the guy, the, the guy that chooses, that makes the ugliest thing and then chooses the wildest path in life. Just, just to be those guys, you know? Do you think Master Trade Negotiator matters? I really don't think it does, but it probably, I don't know, I, I have it on, but probably doesn't matter what season are we in right now is this the six so season six we had three playoff trips one resulted in a super bowl win which is wild uh the team doesn't know how to find running backs which is the easiest position in the entire league to find it is what it is uh holmes is 77 overall what's his dev still a star dad really i mean all right it's like i don't know he must have really easy uh goals tyron's still in the league what overall or what age is he 31 probably 31. I don't know how I know these things. I just do. It's really weird. Maybe maybe it's something. Maybe it's more subconscious than I know. Maybe it's the the amount of regression and when regression starts that makes me know. All right, this guy started off as a 90 plus. He's 87 now. That's probably 30, 31, 50, 50 shot. Boom. You know? See, there's a lot of math that goes into it. I thought our quarterback was Michael Pierce. I was like, you know, hey. If it works, it works. Uh, so offense is really just struggling. Uh, the offensive line is, I mean, better than it has been in many seasons, but still not good enough. Six and ten. Now we're now we're starting to be like, all right, well, we got a Super Bowl. Let's go back into hiding. Keith Udeze, which is honestly one of the best running back seasons we've had. Uh, Hopkins had a decent season, just no touchdowns, man. The touchdowns have been pretty much non-existent. See sack totals. Clowney's he's been picking it up ever since like year two. Offense was twenty four. Man, this is this is ugly. Let's take a look who wins the Super Bowl. We had the Chiefs last year. I'm pretty sure over the Cowboys. This year we're gonna have a Rams Ravens. Please Ravens do it. They did apparently. I mean I don't know if that's true. Once again I I don't know. Simulate the draft. A six and ten record gets you probably pick number seven. Maybe pick number eight. Let's see who pick we have. We have pick number seven, a left tackle, Lane Grayson. He's 24, but he's the best lineman we had since Fulton. So you get pick number seven, and that's the only player you get that's good. Oh, here we go. Edivaldo Combs. I, I, I don't know how to speak English, all right? It's Combs, but, you know, I had to make it special. That's, that's me. So I don't know what the linebacker situation is around here. I would assume uh, somebody's getting old. But, hey. We landed a good left tackle, even though it only took us number seven overall, and he's 24. It is what it is, you know? You got to deal with these things when you're doing a 10-year sim. We also see that uh, Fuller is regressing, which means Hopkins is probably like a 72 overall. I'm going to get running back training whenever I get a chance. Hopefully, we've got a new running back right now. It's year seven. We do. We have Hines, who's probably like 20. I was about to pay, say 28, but he's 27. He's very fast, though. He's not bad. Hopkins, who is quick dev. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Trey Burton's our tight end still, and he's done as well. 91 overall defense. You can see that Matthew is on his final season, basically. So there's another position to fill. Jared Davis is on the team. He's 28. I'd rather put a Holmes in there. Or Combs in there. He's, uh, he's got star dev, I'm pretty sure. So it is what it is. Let's go on. Definitely not making the playoffs with this team. Yeah, I mean, our little window is closed. But, hey, a Super Bowl uh, is a nice win. Especially since we actually did win it, indeed. No playoffs again. What was the record? 9-7, and seven, though. Wow, this is a really tough division this year. Sean Watson looking decent again. Hines, really nothing to go. He almost had more fumbles than touchdowns. Two 1,000-yard receivers. All right, a little late there, Fuller. But, hey, there you go. Showing you still got a little bit left in the tank. 
which means you will be released off this team this season. Congratulations. Uh, let's take a look. I bet you he does get released too. How much you want to bet they don't have him on the team next season? I guarantee it. I can honestly almost guarantee it. The Jags and the Ram. Hello. Two powerhouses. Rams win another. Lovely. Love seeing teams win a lot of Super Bowls. Let's see. Is Will Fuller here? I knew it. Oh, no, I didn't know it. Damn it, I didn't know it. Michael Gallup is 29, normal dev, and he's upgraded like two overalls in his entire career. Glad we went for him. Draft recap. With the 20th pick, we took a tight end, and it looks like a very good pick. Holy crap. That is a really freaking good pick. He's the 24th tight end in the league. I don't think so. I'd say uh, probably top 10 based off of dev, speed, and all that. So we finally got ourselves a weapon. Could have used it maybe five seasons ago. But it is what it is. What pick was that? Number 24, was it? No, 19. 20. Okay, number 20. Todd Al Allred. So we go with another different running back who is trash. Lovely. Well, how old is Deshaun? He's 29. All right, he's got some years still. Hopefully. He's superstar dev, so you would think. Uh, no new wide receivers. Uh, O-line's kind of trash. They are starting the tight end. Okay, they are. I was about to say, you got to start them. Combs, after one season, went up like six overall. So it appears to be the good decision. Plus, they got rid of Jared Davis anyways. Uh, Tyron Matthew is like 32, 33. Yeah, he's looking a little a little stale these days. He's looking a little dead. Clowney's getting old, right? 32. He's not getting old. He is old. Almost another upgrade, though. So there's that. I mean, the tight end's nice, but let's be honest. It's not going to be enough to uh, to take this team to the Super Bowl, but maybe the playoffs if we're lucky. So this is season eight, so we're, we're getting there. We're almost there. Depending on how the team looks, I might not even like manually do I might just let this thing go on because we already took a little bit extra time watching the Super Bowl and all that. And this team already had a lot of success. All Red only got a few upgrades, huh? Well, I don't know about a few upgrades, actually. He might have been a 79. I'm just kind of overrating him in my head a little bit. If he started at a 79, that's a not a bad, you know. Not a bad. <laughs> Makes sense. So, Combs is an 81 overall now. Still star dev, but he's definitely developing as our uh, best linebacker. I'm already going to put him over Cunningham anyways. Pierce needs to be replaced. McNeil, I don't know how old he is. Uh, Phillips, surprisingly, uh, at the age of 20. Okay, he's 28 now. <laughs> Maybe he's not super young. 28 years old, normal dev. He got to 85 overall. That's not terrible. That's, I mean, it's all right. Uh, Anabon is 28. I'm just surprised that we still have guys like Todd and Anabon, to be honest. I, I Normally, they I just they get rid of their best players for whatever reason. 7-9. Uh, Let's take a look at the season. Deshaun, I mean, he had superstar dev. There's no way after that season he still has superstar dev. There's just absolutely no way. And it's not even necessarily his fault. The, the receiving threats he has just aren't that great. Allred might have a lot of potential, but, I mean, even he's not that great, you know. He's not the fastest guy in the world. He's sick. Don't get me wrong. If you had a guy like that in a user league, you'd, you'd, people would be jealous because he's uh, Gronk's 2.0, basically. You could build him as Gronk. Let's go with quarterback. Probably should have went with running back there, but what's the difference? Don't even have a running back ever anyways. So let's go to the Super Bowl, see what happens. So it's the Bills versus the Rams. Please, not another Rams win. I mean, it seems like the Bills won. I don't know. Is DeAndre gone now? That's the question. I know Tyron's going to be gone. DeAndre is still here. Oh, God, things are getting bad around here. Tyrone Tanner. It's not a good pick. Tariq Cohen's 31-year-old self is here. He's not even in the 90 for speed or excel. Lovely. Defensively, uh, Medlock. Okay, I mean, this is an interesting one. 25 years old as well. Not a bad decision. I mean, there's definitely other positions we could have went with, but that's not bad. Uh, Seth Kutrera. Kutrera. <laughs> Kutrera. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting name. I think we'll just do this without doing the sim ourselves. Like, we won't sign anyone ourselves. You just let me know if that's the way you want it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Lawrence Phillips. Not a bad pick at all. Going to put him at a uh, strong safety, I think. And then in the fifth round, Gatewood, Dwight. Dwight Gatewood. Uh, I mean, he's not great. It says he's decent, but he's really not. I don't like those stats at all. Number one overall was a corner. 
Number three overall was a corner that might even be better than him. The age difference it might be a little rough, though. Granville, number five, running back power. Solid, but that agility. If that agility was like a 90, you could work with it, but honestly, I don't even know if it's worth it without 90. I mean, I'd like to see more uh, offensive lineman picks, but I would say the Texans are one of the top few teams that we've had for drafting. They've done a really good job in most of the drafts. They've at least landed one solid player pretty much every single draft, other than maybe one. Eight and eight. Most valuable team, the Niners. All right, interesting. Deshaun, that might have got him back to superstar. It's good yardage. Uh, Tariq Cohen, one of our better seasons from running back. Two 1,000-yard receivers. I like it. Wish the tight end would have got involved, though. 13 and a half for Clowney. Picks, not bad, to be fair. Nah, screw we will. Uh, I will go in and uh, make this team a Super Bowl squad. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, though. I'm not going to worry about trade downs or anything. I think that's where I've been making my mistakes with time consumption. Let's go to the Super Bowl, see who wins it, and then get on to this whole contract whatever bills giants the two worst teams in the league basically and the bills win a super bowl actually no i can't do that stage one so 55.5 mil to spend on free agents why am i not surprised tremaine Edmonds is a very tough guy to pass up tyree boykin literally the perfect thing we have needs for no block shedding which sucks but we could really use a guy like boykin and I'm going to put a bit of money onto this. So Javante Manningham. I haven't heard that name Manningham in a while. So running back is definitely one of the needs. If I'm going to have to pay a lot of money, I'd rather take the best available. Vulture. Is our number one wide receiver Tanner? Wow, okay. We're in a little bit of trouble here. This guy's a good catcher. Spanos. Uh, let's get Spanos. So we'll have about 12 mil left over. And the rookie reserves, that's already taken care of. So we'll see what we get. So we get Spanos. We get Boykin. We get Manningham. We even got Fulcher. All right, so, that, I mean, we definitely turned this team around very quickly here. We gave up a little bit of bonuses. And obviously, I'd probably be a little more reluctant if I was actually playing in this. Ooh, down to quick. Deshaun's career is slipping away here. Probably the best, uh, the number one corner wide receiver taken off the board. Let's see, if a wide receiver goes... Wow, Windsor went right out the gate. That wasn't even him. What do you do? If Windsor went number one, you can't trade up. Duckett went number two. Damn, they reached mofo hard. Oh, late first, Russ. I mean, I think Lineman's the biggest needs. I'm going to take him. Quick dev, 81 overall, number four, true talent. Holy crap, what age is he? 21. Holy, he's crazy good. His pass block could use, like, actual pass block could use some work, but the finesse, power, and all that, it's not bad. I mean, that's a good pick. I'm glad I took him over Blackwell. I think Blackwell would have been a good player, but I don't think he would have been worth the pick Fortin was for us. I mean, that guy will last us another 9-10. 81 overall, Fortin, definitely like an amazing pick. Really good lineman. Franklin, not a good pick at all. Like, not in the slightest. He's a little bit of catching ability, but his actual catching is really bad. Drew Crosby, not a great lineman. And then NFL, so... Blackwell. So first things first, let's take a look at this wide receiver. Vaughn Duckett, quick dev. Pretty damn fast. How big was he? 6'3". Amazing. He's got some weight on him too. It's proper number one wide receiver. Windsor. I know he's 6'4", but I don't know how the hell they took him over Duckett. Cornerback Cordell Carey, quick dev, 24 years old. Not really a big fan. But Blackwell, 81 overall. Quick dev. Solid as hell. Uh, but he looks basic. You know, looks like all those other ones we see in free agency. I'm not worried about trades or anything like that. This team doesn't have that kind of value. I'm just going to make sure that whoever we drafted is in their spots. And, I mean, it's not like we drafted much anyways. I think we've done enough to probably get this team back to the uh, the playoffs. Ye old playoffs, which we are in barely. Holy crap. 10 I don't know why this team loves the tie, but they do. 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, 5 picks. Did that bring him back up in death? He's back to star. His career is not over yet, kids. Watch out. Best running back season probably since we started this from Javante Manningham. Receivers, not crazy good, but four guys into the 7, 800 plus category. So, you know, that's it's a good team effort, I suppose. Uh, defensively, 
Landry had eight and a half. Boykin had eight and a half. Or Landry had nine and a half. Boykin had eight and a half. So the uh, free agent class kind of coming up a little bit. Anubin back to four picks plus. Kicker probably lost us a few games. Offensive yardage number four, not bad. Deshaun was number two on MVP list. Number one on Offensive Player of the Year for the AFC. Uh, best quarterback. The, how many players was that for the Browns there? What what was that? Olin? How the hell did they... Oh, they took Wong as well. That's another one. The, the Browns drafted good line, so I guess it is possible to actually get good line in Sim. Usually the AIs always have like 80s for me. Fortin's an 83. Is his dev up? No. What about this fullback? They grabbed this guy in the third round, and he's been pretty solid, actually. It's a good pick. I mean, he's, he's actually pretty solid. You can't really say much. I mean, third round or not. Turn out, I mean, he's honestly probably better than half the linemen on this team. Why not? Good pick by them. Screw it. It's probably a 10, 5, and 1 is good enough for a bye week, though. That's kind of wild. Broncos, they took us out once before. Can they do it again? They cannot. Browns did not take us out before. Can they do it this time, though? And they can. By one. Hopefully, the Browns win. Just so we can see that we did lose to the Super Bowl winners. And that is not true. The Rams win. So, the Rams got like three Super Bowl wins in this, I think. But this is the team that finishes out the 10-year sim. If I'm a Texans fan, I'd be pretty damn happy. Because, I mean, one Super Bowl win... Four or five, maybe not six. Four to five Super Bowl or playoff trips. Not bad at all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any suggestions for uh, 10 year sims, let me know. Like I said, this week Friday, there will be a Red Dead 2 stream on the channel at 11 p.m. Central. I'm assuming that's when Red Dead's going to properly drop. Hopefully there's no like issues with the game. Of course, it's going to be campaign because online is a week late, as they do. And I'm going to be streaming that pretty much every day, I'd say, until uh, either online comes out or I finish it. And, yeah, tomorrow will obviously be our weekly predictions and our Dolphins special rebuild. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 